Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome to a new interloper run here in the Long Dark. Um, we're going to be attempting a challenge. I'm going to um, make a fire and keep that single fire going indefinitely. Um, this is a pretty good spawn for this. I've done some theorizing on a few spawns and um, at the edges of the map is a good place to spawn because once you start the fire closer to the middle of the map it significantly limits your ability to travel and um there's maybe one of the few ways to actually get the technical pack is um spawning here all right so let's get down and make our way over to homesteaders Hopefully we don't get any sprains here. It'll be a bad day if we do. Alright, we spawned a little bit after dawn. Got some wind here, unfortunately, that's going to slow down my travel. I really need as much of this energy as possible, so... Alright, let's keep an eye out for wolves, and there's a potential moose spawn up here as well that we don't want. I'm going to grab sticks for my first fire. Usually there are wolves over there, I think. The moose is a lot more dangerous than the wolves. Um, the wolves are pretty easy to avoid. The moose just ends me if I stumble too far into his range and don't realize it. He would usually be just over this hill if he's here. Looks like we're okay. Could still be around somewhere. Wow, this weather looks like it might turn nasty. All right, let's get a few pieces of tinder. So just a little bit more about this challenge. Um, it's not the Everflame challenge. So in that one, I could use a single match. Then from there on, I had to just transport my fire with torches. Um, in this one, I can start as many other fires as I want. But sometime in the first 24 hours, I have to start my main fire. And then that's the one that has to stay... Um, um, stay fueled forever. Alright, so let's see if we can execute the shortcut here. Uh, really need to do this without sprains, so there should be a flat spot right here, and then we'll just run it. This is the one little bit of energy that I just have to spend right now. Yeah, this is just barely possible to do. Hopefully I didn't mess up the execution too much. Okay, we made it. There's a flat spot here to stand. And then... There should be another one just up here. And then we'll do a little run here just to clear this gap. Make it a little bit easier to get up here. You can do it without running, but... Alright. Managed to preserve most of my energy there. I do have frostbite risk... Um, let's see, can I access that coal bin from this side? Looks like I can kind of loop around this way. Oh, that's convenient. That's a nice trick for saving some time. I don't have to walk all the way around the building. Alright, let's get in here and... We got our combat pants. These are always here, I think. Um, oh my goodness, we got a Mackinac. That's pretty nice. This is good for early game, but um, you can also frequently get a thin wool sweater here, which is a better late game item, but I'm not going to worry about it. I will take the Mackinac. It'll be a long time before we can Nobody get a bear coat going. Anymore. That's a nice bonus. Where was my frostbite risk? I got both of them, but one of them is protected now. Okay, uh, the good luck had to end eventually, but 
I'm not complaining. All right, let's uh, grab the matches. We got some peaches. Oh my goodness, three food buffs and dog food. Crazy. All right, um, cedar. And I think we just want to get out of here pretty much immediately. That's where I found the thing. We looted all the other stuff. Uh, check in the crates. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm just wasting time now. All right, let's get going. Oh my goodness. Mittens. That's it. No more frostbite. That's huge. Wow. That's... That's quite the homesteaders loot drop there. Three buffs. Uh, Mackinac, combat, pants. Too cold. Think. Hat and gloves. <laughs> it's like a one-stop shop. For interloper. Plus the coal. Now the only problem is this wind is causing me to move at a snail's pace. Uh, we got a lot of ground to cover, so... I'm gonna be... Just going as far as I can, as fast as I can, pretty much. Probably end up making a fire at, um... Miner's Folly. Okay, we have to stop on this ledge and recover um, some energy. Unfortunately, I'm not sheltered. Okay, I am sheltered here. Let's stand up and see if I'm still sheltered. I am. All right, let's take stock. Um, so the real danger here with this spawn is not getting to my fire location quickly enough. So I think what I'm gonna do, since I got such a good start, I think I'm gonna skip certain spots. And one of the spots I'm considering skipping is Foreman's Retreat. I might just go into Miner's Folly and then just continue on. I don't know, it's not really very far out of my way. I guess one question I have to ask myself is what am I hoping to find up there? Oh, this is brutal. A good start, but I don't know if a blizzard is workable this early on. And I'm not going to get frostbite. I'm already cold anyway. It's the wind. If the wind direction is advantageous, then I might be okay here. Um, all right, let's do some running. I think I'm going to burn all my energy because I don't have any climbs ahead of me. Yeah, let's just burn it all. Eventually, I'm going to run out of energy anyway, so might as well do it now. Let's see. We've got a rope that I can't carry. I'll just keep going. Okay, I think because there's a blizzard, what I'm going to do is run all the way and actually go into Foreman's retreat because I can start a fire inside there, which will allow me to create a nice hot fire and get one. Oh my goodness, just get over the bump. <laughs> um, that's my own fault. I know that spot is hard to get around. I was just distracted. Um, realistically, am I going to find anything in that cave? Probably not. Let's just press on. Foreman's Retreat is a spawn point for boots. Never seen this here before. Um, I've got enough buffs. I'm not going to mess with rose hips.
Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll use the canned food to mitigate the condition loss from the blizzard. So we'll do our first one in Foreman's Retreat. Later on, I'm going to be able to get birch bark on my way out of the region. So I have that to look forward to. Let's grab some stones for wildlife redirection. Okay, so sometimes there's a can opener here. Excellent. Oh, more buffs. Sweet. I got the book. Um, probably end up burning most of those books in my first fire, since that's the heaviest stuff. We got some books up there. Um, nothing under here. I think there's sometimes a pants spawn here, if I'm remembering that correctly. Okay, we don't need any of that stuff. Let's just double check to make sure I'm not missing something. Nothing on the bed, nothing on the upper bed. All right, I think we're good here. Let's go check the place across the way. Yeah, I got everything. Unless I missed stuff, but... It happens. Can't afford to stand around... Triple checking everything forever. It's so cold. I've got a lot of fuel. I wanna lay down for a bit. Oh, I got the stim. That, um... I don't know if that's a bug or what it seems to be there all the time now before it was just a chance spawn so it might be intentional all right let's see if we can find our way up to the retreat Alright, uh, let's just go ahead and start the fire right away. I can be warming up while I loot. Ow, come on. Come on, little fire. Interesting start. Really good loot. Really bad weather. Okay, we're gonna burn some more books. Uh, did I not pick those books up from the top? Maybe not. Uh, let's throw some sticks on there. Okay, that's gonna be plenty warm. Oh, water, we need to get that going. It's gonna allow me to make some teas later on. Probably only birch bark teas. We don't really need any other buffs. Um, this is the... Ooh, food spawn. Nice. We'll swap those out. And let's just ditch these. No way it makes sense to carry those around. Um, more firewood. The whetstone's pretty light. I will carry it with me. Um, okay. What else? Just the other room, I think. Some more tinder. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get the uh, pork and beans warming up. And let's just use the trick to make sure it doesn't... Oh, 28 minutes. It's a little bit long. Can I redo that? I don't want to wait that long. Pork and beans. Where are you? Okay, 15 minutes. Alright, let's go ahead and... I'll take it. Wow. 
another hat. Alright, that's gonna help protect my better hat. Pretty sweet. This is a really good start. I I need to be aggressive about moving because I would really hate to throw this away by running out of time to get to my fire location. Um, so we're going to go in just a minute here. <sighs> need to grab some torches for the purpose of starting my next fire. And I'm apparently not warm enough here, so let's throw a few more of these on. Not warm enough to uh, warm up quickly, that is. Okay, four minutes until that's ready, 12 minutes until that's boiled. Um, I should really warm up all the way. I think we take a little bit of cloth here. And potentially even craft bandages. That's most of the way warmed up. Let's grab that. Not gonna make any more. How long does it take to craft bandages? 10 minutes. I'll be fully warm. Yeah, let's just go and do it now. Just in case I get a sprain and need him for the running. This is definitely a lot of time burned on this, though. Okay, let's just go ahead and eat this now. After we grab a couple more torches. And we're gonna head out of here. I think that was about the best use of time I could do. Eat this. Let's try to get down here without getting a sprain. And now I need to be careful not to go off the edge. But I want to go pretty far to the left to get over to the air cave area. I think that's the swale that goes down. So I think we're pretty much on the right track here. Yeah, here's the burned down structure. Do I want to start Rosehip Collection? I almost need something to do during my next fire. thing is, I can drop pretty low on health and then just rely on birch bark tea for the uh, post blizzard travels. I think we take the time for these. Jesus, it's cold. Just because I'm going to be killing time at my fire the next time I have a fire, regardless, so I might as well have something to do. It'd be probably smart to go into that cave and get more coal, but this is where I'm going to be aggressive with the timing. I chose to go up to Miner's Folly. I think it did pay off, but I'm going to have to make some concessions, so... This place looks so different in a blizzard. I barely know where I am. I think there's some loot over there, but we're not going to go over there. Let's keep pushing. I 
Now, one thing I foolishly did not check was whether my hypothermia risk was fully healed. Um, during the last fire. That could actually end up costing me. I mean, if I, if I get hypothermia, I'm pretty sure the run is over because I'm going to take way too much damage. Looks like we just got the risk. I don't think we have any wildlife redirection for a long time, so I'll leave the stones there. This is such a long, painful journey. Okay, so here's my final two rose hips for the next tea. Not in any immediate danger. I can at least burn out my energy bar before we continue. Um, with warming up, that is. Actually, maybe the smart thing to do is just go all the way to the gold mine and then warm up. I think this might be where I take the big condition hit, just to make that push. Probably firewood over there, but I've already got a lot. Get the rose hips. I've already got one set. <laughs> All right, there goes the last of the energy. We're walking now. I don't think we're too far now. Is this the, uh... Yeah, okay, so this is the old, um, bear coat spawn point. I don't think it spawns there anymore. How crazy would that be? I thought I'd ever wake up again. Ah, uh, I think I have to grab these three. Okay. Let's grab the cedar, or fur, rather. Oh, wait, I'm overweight. No, we can't have that. Just drop stuff until I'm not. I mean, I can't carry all this weight around. There's just no way. Okay. Should be good enough. I'm still a little bit overweight, but... I can't afford to be carrying all that junk around. Alright. Where are we here? Hypothermia risk, we're fine. Clothing must be taking such a beating right now. No stim, unfortunately. It's like they got rid of that spawn. Not really expecting to see anything in this cave. Uh, it doesn't look like there is. Nothing too exciting, at least. Alright, I think I'm going to do this. This is kind of crazy, but I'm going to go a different way down than what's typical um, in an attempt to save some time here. I did this once before, and I was pretty impressed with how it worked out. Sprains don't really matter at this point. I don't really remember the exact route down here, but um, I think it's possible to do this without sprains, though, if you're fast enough. 
Ooh, that was bad. That's damage. Torn clothing, too. All right, well, we made it down. I think that was a little faster than going the other way. Probably not worth it with the damage and the torn clothing, but... That sparks a bit. I'm just trying to take every possible advantage. Now, I'm actually a little lost. I think that's the swale coming down from the other direction. I don't think I've ever actually done this in a blizzard. I don't, don't remember where I'm aiming for relative to this waterfall. Okay, looks like we came out at about the right point. Somebody will have to rewatch and see what the condition loss was on the uh, fall. It's going to end up costing me quite a bit if I lost any significant amount. It just gives me less play. But, made it all the way from Homesteaders to, oh, I can just walk through this. Um, all the way from Homesteaders to the mine here. With only a single warm-up fire. That's pretty good. Let's just do a quick um, status check here. It's been six hours. That's not bad at all. Um, got some cloth? No? Okay, that's just nothing. Alright, let's get moving. That smarts a bit. It's a bit, but I'll make it. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Ow! All right, let's just get rid of my um, socks and boots for right now. We're gonna take some damage here in the cold. Do I? Ah. I'm gonna go ahead and deal with the slow from the carry weight because we're about to get the technical pack, and then I can make an assessment. The start is so ridiculous, though. Um, it'd be pretty nice if it works out. Ow. Wow. Absolutely crazy. Uh, let's throw that on, and let's see. What condition is this in? That's in good condition. That's in good condition. Let's just... Well, that's cloth, I guess, eventually. That's the last of the water travel. Let's throw the socks and boots back on. Start getting everything warmed up again. Um, it's back here. Have I ever looked back here? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Let's grab... Get our fire started. Uh, do I want to use accelerant on this? I don't really need to. I think I'll skip the accelerant for this one. Uh, save it for when I'm outside and cold. Perfect. All right, um, let's throw on the heavy stuff, which is sticks and books. Um, probably get rid of a few of these torches. Next up would be fur. Let's throw on some reclaimed, maybe some cedar. No way I'm going to be able to carry all that anyway. Let's get another batch of water going. A 
couple of batches, I guess. I need some water. We've got teas to prep. Don't need more cans. Those are gonna sit there forever. Those I can eat. Let's just do that now. Um, let's drink the soda as well. I'm trying to cut down my carry weight. Get rid of some of this excess gear. Okay, let's see how we're doing. We're under capacity. Ooh, the sprain actually does matter because I'm about to climb. So let's um let's see what the deal is with that. I have two sprained ankles. All right, well, I'm glad I crafted those bandages, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and bandage everything up. I forgot about the down climb here. It's going to leave me with no bandages. Um, I think I want to work on teas, though. Okay, before we do that, let's just walk over here. Check this last little loot spot. Where is it? Maybe up this way? Ah, uh, right back in here. Okay. I think I can use this. Um, I guess I'll take those purification tablets. It's because they'll allow me to do this water quicker. Um, how do I do this? Use these. get some... I don't actually have anything. Okay. So let's do water. I don't know why I'm even making all this water. I don't need it. Um, let's prep one set of teas. Make sure... Yeah, I'm good on everything. I really hope this thing ends soon. I have reishi. I don't remember getting this. Let's do the reishi because I don't want to take the pain medication. I think we'll leave once this is done. Let's also cook up um, peaches. Wait a minute, what condition are those? Okay, all that stuff is good. Get those prepped up. And... Leave that behind forever. That's safe to eat. I think I'll continue carrying the dog food with me. Let's drop the rest of these. Okay, the blizzard's over. We need to go. Uh, drop that. Drop the torch. We've got three torches. I need to grab a couple more. Um, I think I need to carry everything else here. We'll burn some of it at our next fire. I don't need all this water. Just ditch one of those. That's about ready. Um, got a can on me. So just leave that one there. Yeah, I'll have that one. Okay, so I'm going to take that and that and then leave. Let's get a couple of torches. Okay, hopefully I got everything. Made pretty good time so far. Next stop, Timberwolf Mountain. I'm not going to do much there. I'm going to just pass through um, as fast as possible.
I'd have to drop a little more fuel. See how this goes. Currently evening. This is going to be good travel weather, probably. I think I'm going to eat uh, this regardless, so let's go ahead and do that. It'll give me the warming up buff. Oh, nice warm weather. Um, careful not to get a spray in here. All right, I got my crampons on. Let's do this. Oh, this is so slow. Um, I think I just have to take the slow climb here. Fortunately, it's costing me almost none of my grip meter. I don't think it's worth... Oh, there was a... This is dumb, but <laughs> I'm going to stop at the ledge just for the backpack, which is uh, a really bad idea, probably. Yeah. So that um, warming up buff wasn't even needed. Um, Crampons are doing a nice job, keeping my strength high. Okay, so we got one more climb down. I think this one's a lot shorter. Uh, we'll check this camp briefly. I'm not sure what I would find that I would want, but what is this item? Nothing. Okay. last of these slow climbs. Um, it's technically possible to go these, but I don't know the routes. It's just not worth the risk. Now, there could be a moose here. Got to keep that in mind. It's a deer up there. Looks like we're okay for now. I don't know how much weight I can really afford to pick up. Um, I pretty much gotta stay underweight because I need to travel as fast as possible. So, I'll pick up sticks if they're like directly in my path. But uh, I'm mainly gonna be collecting birch bark. This is what's gonna get me through the next 15 hours or so. It's all this free birch bark that Ash Canyon provides you with. So good. Warming up buff has expired, and yeah, we barely lost any temperature, so... It ended up not being needed. I 
Next fire, we'll cook up some teas. Birch bark teas. I'll probably down a lot more than I actually need for warmth. Just for the healing effect. Gotta go around this way, I guess. I will step out of my way for this birch bark. Oh, that's not birch bark. Tricked me. Oh, look at this. We get a beautiful travel evening. It's my... payment for um, sticking out that blizzard. There's another area up there with more birch bark, but we're not going to be doing that. I don't have the time, unfortunately. It's crazy to think just how much this region has provided me with in just the short span of like eight hours. That I've been here. Mackinac combat pants, wool toque, another hat, gloves, tons of birch bark. Wow, there's a massive piece over here. Gotta love that. Surrounded by snow, nothing to drink. That might be the end of the birch bark. I'd actually need to start a quick fire just to get more torches. It's not what I anticipated the issue being. Uh, let's go here and... Oh, these are the lowest condition. Okay. Well, I can probably get through to the other side of this cave, maybe. Yeah, I'm not going to explore the whole cave and go get all the loot in it. I'm just going to go uh, kind of straight through the quickest path. Assuming I can remember what that is. So we'll get in here, drink a little bit of water, check the time. Uh, I want to count my birch bark, see what I made it out of there with. Thank you, Ash Canyon. You've been great. Um, unfortunately, I will probably never see you again this run because um, it's just too far to come. 
Not gonna be possible. Alright, first of all, water. Just get a little bit. Uh, check the time. Let's go here. 10 hours. Okay, so we've got uh, about 13 hours left. And then. What else was I gonna check? Yeah, so it's about late evening now. Um, birch bark. 16. Okay, not the best, but definitely not bad. That's um, 8 T's, so 40% healing that I can get. Pretty sure I'm doing the right... Oh no, this is just a dead end? Okay. Because I think there's the... Uh, yeah, that's the thing that goes off down and has a bunch of potential loot. And we're going to see what we missed up here, which I think might include a cup of coffee. I think there's always a cup of coffee there. Uh, I can't really see. I guess it's for the best that we don't know exactly what we missed by not taking that loot. But that's just um, one of the cuts that I'm going to have to make to make sure I make it there on time. Okay. How does this work? There's two paths. I don't remember which one goes where. Uh, is this a dead end? No, this goes out. Okay, so I went the right way. Maybe there was more coal on the other side, but it's, it's fine. Um... I'm going to check the weather. If the weather is really nice, I might not start my fire until I need to. Uh, it's tough to say. Yeah, I think we just press on here. It was like negative five. We can get a good amount of travel time out of this. And I got plenty of coal, so I can make a fire to warm up. Pretty much anywhere. Just wish the visibility was a little bit higher, but... More birch bark. Crazy. I'll take it. Oh, it's actually getting clearer. Okay. And yet more birch bark. Oh, I'm way off track. Okay, so that's why I'm seeing birch bark. Glad it cleared up, because we need to be over there. I was going the wrong way. Um, is this my last torch? No, I've got one more. Okay, so we're fine. So we'll go until that other torch is about to run out, and then we'll start our fire. Um, or maybe we'll just do it in the cave down here. Yeah, we're pretty much going to have to do it at some point in the transition cave over here. So my plan is to hop down to three-way and take the cave kind of through the mountain. And then leave. And I'm not sure if I'm going to stop by the Mountaineer's Hut. Um, it's only a little bit out of the way. It's a potential my feet. coat spawn. Getting a second coat would be insane. Like a ski jacket or something. Or... Even a vest, since I don't have one, but the ski jacket is obviously way better. go back here to get down. Um, just hope for the best. Seems to be the plan for most of this.
All right, last torch. Ooh, I think there's a torch that spawns in this cave. So I actually might just walk to the transition using that torch. Yeah, sweet. Okay. So that'll get us through the next cave, probably. Wind is picking up. I think I'm going to take some more damage here, just because... This stuff will come in handy. Uh, do I really want to do that? I'm getting overweight. Nah, I guess I'll start the fire here. Um, that's fine. Should have a book. Yeah, the deciding factor there was that I was overweight. I'm not going to do much with this fire. Just get some torches and heat up one tea, maybe. Um, Come on, little fire. Book. Come on. You can do it. I've got accelerant, but I'm warm here right now, so. Come on, little fire. Oh, yeah. All right. Burn heavy stuff. So that's books and sticks. Um. Reclaimed and cedar. Let's grab these. Throw some more sticks on here. Okay, I'm just gonna make, um... I think I'll just make one of the buffs here. So we'll do the, uh, peaches. And then let's eat this dog food just to get it out of my inventory. There's some cans down. Okay, so I'll take this one and that one. Um, let's just get rid of this torch. We'll get some new ones in a second here. It's going to be ready in nine minutes. So let's craft a single birch bark tea. And unfortunately, I'm going to wait until the next fire to actually make this tea. Okay. Get the next batch of torches off of here. And what's my carry weight looking like? Um, so we don't need any more than that. Take one more torch. Uh, let's just go and eat this hot off the fire. And let's go. Um, yeah, I think I got... Did I loot these? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the weird thing about the teas is, like, I need to make them to heal, but I also just really need to keep moving. I'm gonna have to burn an extra match to relight this torch when we get up here. Yeah, and unfortunately, I don't see a way around this. I think I'm just gonna have to have a fire in this cave. and make some birch bark tea. Okay, let's get this, um Oh, let's not use that one. Let's get that lit. Okay, I think the plan is kind of the same here. Um, not going to stop for a lot. So that's the way up. I'm just checking to see if there's any coal lying around right here. 
Got yet another torch. a lot of warmth and the warming up buff. There's a cave on the way to Mountaineer's Hut. But if I got really cold, I could stop there instead. Yeah, this buff is going to last a little while, I think. When did I eat that food? I guess it was back at the freeway. No coal in there. Hmm. Tough decision. It's really weird. I feel like every second counts almost at this point. It's uh, too strong of a run to risk um, losing at this point. Got a book from my next fire start. Yet another buff. I'm overweight now. All right, let's ditch some of the heavier fuels. Um, yeah, fur, don't need. Cedar. Um, stick, reclaimed. Let's just ditch another cedar. Okay, that's good for now. Yeah, the technical pack is actually really important for the um, extra weight capacity for exhaustion walking. Which, as you can see, is going to be absolutely critical. Alright, so the warming up buff is gone. Hmm. Okay, I think what I'll do is... Since I'm almost fully warm, let's leave a torch in here, just in case my torch gets blown out. We'll see what the weather's like. It doesn't sound like it's windy anymore. So if it's still good evening temperatures with no wind, I can probably make it down to Mountaineers <coughs> without... Um... Without a buff, anyway. I think it's important to push as far as possible before we get the sort of late night cold temps. Let's go this way. Um, hmm. Okay, it's actually a lot colder than I thought it was. Let's have the flare ready. Oh no. The wind is going to kill me here. Alright, well, it looks like we're going to have to stop at the cave just down here and start a fire. No choice with this ridiculous wind slowing me down so much. Oh, just let me move. If I crouch and stand back up, does that fool the game into thinking I can move quickly? Apparently not. Please, I just want to go. <laughs> this is the same speed I would move if I had like 50 kilograms in my pack. Ridiculous. I'd prefer not to have a sprain, please. Thank you. I prefer for there not to be a bear right here, Gotta like warm up there was when I wanted one in my cooking five on day one challenge. Okay, I don't think I can complain about this. <laughs> Actually warming up here without a fire. Crazy. Alright, let's uh, get this thing started. Um, burn the book. I don't know why I'm using a match. That's a weird thing to do. <sighs> okay, let's get this thing cranked up. Um, cedar. I don't really have a lot of stuff. Okay, let's just throw a coal on there. Um, let's get this ready. Get some water going in it. 
this ready with some tea. And let's make um Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and craft two birch bark teas. Getting a bit thirsty. I think I have just about enough water. Um Let's waste my... Oh, did I drop those tablets? I guess I used all of them. Okay, whatever. Um, that's fine. So, let's do one more birch bark. We're gonna be fully warm after this. I think we go ahead and head out. See how am I doing on weight? We're okay. Let's grab a couple more torches. This is so high stress. Just trying to make sure I'm doing everything that needs to be done. Uh, that's ready. That's done. That's done. Okay. Hopefully the bear's not right here. Or a wolf, for that matter. Oh, there's wind. Killing me. Alright, let's see if I can get some shelter behind this tree, and we'll drink the first tea. Finally gonna get some healing going on here. Not much, because we're still taking the exhaustion damage, but... What an epic trek across the landscape this is turning out to be. You're not going to do that to me, are you? Just die already. Stop. Get out of here. Uh, got wolves all over me. I think we skip the fishing hut and just go straight to the hut. What was I going to find in the hut? Like some gloves, maybe? Now, here's the real question. I don't really need a fire here. I just drink this. And we're fully warm and we just move on. We start a fire somewhere else. Because I gotta keep moving. I get this wolf off my tail first. Okay, did we get it? Oh my goodness, we got a ski jacket. That's so good. Uh, okay, we got a ton of fuel. No matches. Uh, another book. 
Let's just drink this nice. outright. Um, this is such an insane start. Sewing kits. Um, all right, let's see. How much carry weight do I have access to? Not much. Enough for a piece of cedar or two, maybe. Uh, is this still warm? Yes, it is. All right, so let's top off and head out right now, then. I'm not going to bother starting a fire here. Um, let's just pick this up. Oh, it's a memento. That's fine. Uh, search this. Alright, we're gonna have to stop and start a fire somewhere, but, um... I'm gonna take just a second to... do this. So that I'm not burning my best torch. Okay, this is actually taking way too long. But, I'm committed now. Alright, let's go. If I can find wind shelter along the, the way here, we're actually gonna be really warm. With the ski jacket and everything. I think I might have forgotten to loot some things, but, you know, like, there's usually a small item behind the one crate. And I'm not even sure I checked the hatch. But I got a ski jacket. Did I even get matches? It doesn't matter. I got a ski jacket. Now, a moose could, uh, really ruin my day here. As could getting lost in this weather. Hopefully we don't run into either of those issues. I don't see or hear a moose. Doesn't mean it's not there. Working in the dark. I'm hearing my torch is just going crazy here. Did I get off track somehow? Oh no. I think I want to be over here, actually. Is the wing, or is the landing gear right here? Is that it? I think I have to assume that's it. This does not look familiar. Do I go through this? I can't. I don't go through that archway. Do I? What is this? And how did I get this lost in this short a period of time? This is like a wing or something. Oh no, this is a disaster. I need to get out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's the lake. I don't know how I got so turned around. But we want to go basically... This way? I don't understand what that is. There's an arch. That I was just not expecting. And I don't see the landing gear here. But if that's the lake, then this has to be the right... This is really worrying. I don't recognize where I am at all. This is not right. Okay, let's see if we can think through this. That's Mountaineer's Hut. Well, there goes an hour. I don't know how I got that turned around, but I did. Okay. 
I think I can still make it. I've got that stim. We might end up using it to run at some point here. Make sure not to get turned around this time. Okay, so it's either over there or this way. Let's walk right up in the middle here. See if I can spot the landing gear. I think it's basically impossible to turn too far to the left, and that's definitely not right. So we're going to go this way and turn to the left once we get up here. I think I'm just over a lot further to the left than I'm used to. Like, normally I'd be over there walking along this way. And so I got confused when I got here because I was expecting there to be more space over to the left. But I think what's happening here is we're going to come up to the landing gear eventually. Either that or I've just completely messed it up again. Which I'm not ruling out. Oh, there's the landing gear up there. Okay, so it's just a lot further away than I thought. And we're gonna have to make a fire soon. I can't afford to make mistakes like that on a run like this. Not at the beginning. Um... Like this first... 23 hour stretch is so important. I don't think I ever explained. Um, if we're successful here, I'll show you guys when I get to the fire um, what I'm talking about with the timing. And I don't know, maybe if I think I can't make it, I'll start it at an earlier spot. Because this is too good of a spawn to waste. I've only got about 7... Seven or eight hours? Probably seven. That's going to be really tight. Maybe with the stim. And maybe another stim from the barn. Maybe I just go straight to the barn. God, yeah. Freezing. With my first stim. Hmm. If I use the stim, I don't need to worry too much about my health. I want to use the stim sometime when I really know exactly where I'm going, though. So, maybe back there would have been a good opportunity. Um, as soon as I saw the exit, maybe I should have done that. At this point, I'm not going to be able to use it until... Probably until I get close to the barn. So we'll stop at the uh, little fire spot up here. I don't think I'm going to loot anything. I think I'm just going to do the bare minimum with the fire. And then we're going to immediately move on. I have to get some more torches. Uh. It's way too easy to take a nasty fall here, but I'm going to do my best to inch out through there. Okay, that went well. Now, when I get down here, I think I have to walk over this way to prevent taking a fall. Okay, I think we're probably mostly good here. Ooh, that was almost bad. Okay. Get down here real quick. Um, I'm going to grab this to burn right now. I guess we'll loot this. 
should have really started the fire first. Okay, let's do this. Um, I think this is a good opportunity to just use the accelerant that I've got. Wait. Okay, whatever. And let's see. I don't want to really burn any coal, but I think I should burn one. And let's throw some cedar on here as well. I don't have any sticks at all. Interesting. Let's see what that does for temperature. Um, this might be a two coal fire, actually. Um, okay, what do I have? I've got birch bark. Excellent. I have another one. I do not. So let's just heat everything up. Um, do I still have the bad water. Yes. This fire is not that hot. Um, I think we can warm up with teas anyway. So let's do another prep. Gotta remember to pull torches off of here. I just go and eat that now. Let's save this. Grab. Oh no, I messed that up. Shoot. I might have needed that water. Okay, I think we. Oh yeah, I did need that water. Alright, well, I think we leave when all this is done then. Those are hot. Yeah, that's all done. That's not gonna finish. Um, I'm not even gonna take it with me. Let's grab this. Let's get some torches off of here. I need a good number of actual torches, not these terrible ones. Let's throw a cedar on here, so I have plenty of fuel to pull. And let's do a quick status check here. Um, 17 hours awake, so I've got like 6 hours to get over there. It's gonna be tight. Really, really tight. But I think I can pull it off. Especially with the stems. Alright, birch bark, uh, that's ready. Okay, what am I going to start with? I guess we'll start with a partial reishi, um, just to get a large amount of warmth. And then let's also eat this. Okay, we're just going to let that burn. Let's go. Now... I'm gonna go ahead and drink the birch bark now, as soon as I can. I got a wolf here. Yeah, I know. Ah, I didn't want to drink that. Okay. I don't know where I am, unfortunately. I gotta find the, um... The car crash thing, I guess. And then work backwards from there. Okay, so there's the car crash. I'm gonna go down. I think we're gonna have to shortcut it across the... Area here. I don't have time to loot this. We just have to go straight there. Um, I don't want to end up too far to the left, so I'm going to go to the right of this rock formation. And we're going to try to shortcut down the mountainside. And I guess let's try to get the final bit of warmth out of this. Okay, that's really good. We got a ton of warmth. We got the warming up buff. I don't... I still have that one peaches that I can use. I'm probably going to have to make one more fire at some point. Okay, 
Okay, let's get a new torch. I don't want to carry one that light down here. Okay, so far so good. Looks like I'm still pretty far up here. Um, can I go down here? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Okay. Probably gonna get a sprain. Uh, Stim lets you ignore sprains for the purposes of running, right? Actually didn't get one. Thanks, Stim. Or thanks, um, crampons. Okay, so here's the stream. So I should be able to follow this roughly to the birch forest, right? I think we'll come back and loot the birch forest at, a, at another time. Um, too pressed for time right now. As soon as I can tell, this is the birch forest. Now, unfortunately, there's bear and potentially moose here. Um, but I gotta take a chance. Here, footsteps. I think it's just the rabbits. Okay, big push. That was huge. Absolutely huge. Okay, he went for a rabbit. Fine by me. I'll just go do my thing. Okay. Um, now, I don't know where the stem spawns in here at this point. We're just going to have to search around for it. I just need to close my eyes. Really hope that it's still here and that it's not too hard for me to find. I don't want to loot out a ton of stuff here because we can always come back here. This isn't too far from where I eventually want to be. I'm actually tempted because this is so important to just pause the game and look up the locations for it. Um, but I don't know. Definitely cheesy. Okay, it's actually right here. Okay, uh, we can come back and loot this stuff later. I don't see anything, like, obvious that I need to grab right now, so we're just gonna go. Okay, now I'm trying to think. I guess I want to go up this way. I think we want to go roughly... Yeah, roughly cross-country up to the river.
and then kind of follow that up. And that goes up right next to Pensive Pond. I need to find some place to escape this cold. And I still got about four to five hours left. I think this is doable. Completely crazy start, but... I can't use the stem yet. I need all the visibility I can get. I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. I don't think there's going to be any more warm-up fires. Um, just looking at the amount of health I have. And I've got birch bark to recover after I get there. I've got another stem. It is making footstep noises over there. Now, the one thing is I might be really low on torches. Got three, including this one, so... Two, basically. They're going to be good torches, though. I don't know if this is the absolute best way to go up, but it's the one I'm going to use. I've got a 100% torch. Okay. Let's see, we got a big stretch in the cold here. Um, yeah, I think I'd better stem it. Let's not be stingy with these. Oh no, can't see anything. Eh, it's not too bad now. This is a good, nice, long stretch where I kind of know where I'm going. Now this up here, Pensive Pond, this is one of the locations that I considered using. Oh, there could be a moose here, right? Um, that I considered using for this run. Um, as a place to have my fire in the fishing hut there. Uh, but that's not what we're going to go for, because since I already looted Ash Canyon and some of Timberwolf, I want to get as far away from there as possible for kind of the uh, main stretch of my run. Okay, now please tell me that I'm not utterly lost here. Wouldn't I have had to have crossed the river? Uh-oh. There's a road here? Oh, come on. Uh, okay, the bridge is right up here, right? That's what it is. I'm pretty sure this is the bridge across the river, and then the cave will be on the other side of that. I am too tired to think straight. Yeah, I just didn't see the bridge. Okay, we're fine. I actually do need to pay attention to the hypothermia risk. I think I actually have a fair amount of carry weight. Let's pick up a couple of sticks.
Not even gonna stop to loot this body. And do it some other time. We'll be coming back through here uh, a few times, I imagine. Alright, so we're gonna stop taking damage while we're in here. Let's do a quick status check. Um, I know this eats up time, even just looking at it. 20 hours a week. Okay, so I got three hours. Barely. So, I'm only going to check a couple of spots for coal. Probably basically just that is the only thing out of the way that I'll do. Um, we still got a bit of a hike. I'll just pick up anything that's in my face in terms of fuel um, on the way out of here. I'm cutting it so close. Think about which direction to go while I light this. I'm pretty sure that the left is a dead end, whole dead end. I'm actually going to have to stop and make a fire in the dam, I think. Just to get more torches. Unless I want to risk traveling and just burning my marine flare. Um, hypothermia risk is not high. Every second counts at this point, so. I think I'm going to put this out to save the duration on it. It seems crazy to waste a match, possibly, but um, I know there aren't any wolves for a while here. It's unlikely that I'll run into wolves at all, but I'll pull it back out just in case um, I need it. We'll do a sit rep at the fire barrel of the dam, and I'll decide if I have time to start a fire. The thing is, I would need at least like half an hour to spare, and I just don't see how that's possible. Um, considering I only had three hours. Yeah, I just don't think it's gonna... I don't think I even need to look at it. One problem is, I might not actually have enough health to make it. Gonna be close, possibly. If I have anything else on me. Oh, come on. Can't get stuck in the terrain now. And do I have, still have that accelerant? That's actually 
Something that might be important for getting this fire started quickly. When I do start it. Almost went the wrong way there. That would have been a disaster. Yeah, that um, turnaround in Timberwolf really cost me. I'll stop losing health while I'm in the dam. Um, so then we've got the walk down the river, basically. I think that might be too long for my current health. I don't think I have prepared birch bark. I do have that uh, one canned food left. I can't really see anything here, so we're not going to bother to... Uh, really loot stuff and get it some other time. Managed to preserve a good amount of my torch by tanking the damage here and uh, taking a big risk down back when I was down in uh, wolf territory. I think there's much of a chance that we find something useful there. Alright, let's get inside. Light the torch. Oh, I thought that was an aurora at first, that glowing light. Alright, I can't afford to loot anything. I'm just gonna walk straight there unless I see something absolutely amazing that I can just pick up off the ground. See, it's 20% per hour that you lose in the cold. And I think I have around 20% health. I think it's going to take me an hour to walk to hmm. this way. I think I just have to start a fire and heat up a um, pineapple or peaches, whatever it is. I think I basically just have no choice, unfortunately. Ah, cedar it is. I actually uh, need to remember to pick up a stick or something to start my next fire with. Come on, little fire. Come on. Or a book, if I see one on the way out there. Okay, here we go. Um, food. I'm gonna heat this up. Throw a piece of coal on here, just for the little bit of massive warmth that it'll give me. I do have a stick, after all. Okay, um... I can prep some birch bark, but let's just double check that we don't have anything to cook with this stuff. Uh, oh, I do. Okay. Oh, but I don't have water. Shoot. All right. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't go get water, and I can't stand around long enough to boil some. Let's put this out and grab a few more torches. As soon as that's done, I need to go. So we can prep one more birch bark while we're standing here. Let's do the sit rep since I have time. What are we at? 22 hours? Oh, it's going to be down to the wire. It's really going to be down to the wire. And um, there's a reason that I need to get it done before 24 hours, and it's not just because that's what the challenge is. There's actually a pretty important reason. Um, I think we just eat this immediately off the fire, right? Okay, let's go. 
That's the best I can do. It's the warming up buff. Doesn't get me where I need to go, then. You know, too bad, I guess. I don't think we stop for anything at this point. It's just straight out. Are you serious? Another blizzard, because of course there is. I mean, I have no choice. Time is up. We just go and we hope it's enough. <sighs> Looks like the full blizzard didn't start until just now. I'm going to be pretty annoyed if uh, wolves are still out. I got my flare ready, just in case. Pretty sure the fastest route is down past Alan's cave. Shortest route. How did I get a restore condition buff? Oh, so cold. Maybe that was from the birch bark that I drank a long time ago. I'm just gonna hug this left wall. I cannot see anything, so we're just hoping that this is right. Wow, the fact that everything went so well and I'm still this close to not making it. But if I do, man, are we set for this run. Canceling that water might actually end up costing me quite a bit. Okay, there's Alan's cave. Uh, because I could have made that other birch bark, that would have given me another 5% health. The other thing about this blizzard that is just wretched is that I actually need to find the correct fishing hut. Okay, so from what I remember... You come out here, and there's basically a rock formation. I think that's what I see here. And then the fishing hut is kind of on the other side of that. Don't remember it exactly what ang- oh, it might be. I think I can see it. I think this is it. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, I have accelerant. Do it. Wow. Okay. Let's get some coal on here. We're not completely out of the woods yet. Let's throw the reclaimed on. Throw a stick. Okay, now. Uh, let's make some water. Yep, there 
here's the uh, damaged music. That looks like I made it. 23 hours awake. I'm going to have to see um, exactly how the stats show up tomorrow. Uh, but I made this just before dawn. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that I made it because I definitely spawned after dawn. Uh, but we'll see what it shows up um, as on the stats screen in the next episode. Now, unfortunately... Let's just go ahead and throw some more coal on here. I'm realistically not going to get any more fuel. This is actually going to be... Um, tight on fuel because the first thing I have to do is go sleep for some massive amount of time. Actually, maybe I can't afford to sleep. Maybe we're just going to go off of exhaustion for a while here. I'm going to let this episode play out a bit. Um, let's do this. I don't have a bedroll, so I can't sleep in here. So I can't really save the game in a reasonable way. Uh, let's just go ahead and craft two more of those. drink that now. Wasting the buff, but I just need the health um, so that I can move around freely. Alright, let's make more water. Um, what else do I have to work on? Let's check my clothing situation. I've got some cloth to harvest, which is actually pretty efficient to do by the fire here. I've got some stuff to repair. I do have a sewing kit. Looks like the... Let's go into this screen. Um, I'm not going to bother repairing the socks. Right, so the, um, the toque and the underwear are in danger. That's going to go for a while. Uh, close to 30 minutes, right? Let's go ahead and see. I might not be able to do this right now. 30 minutes. Let's just see. It's actually letting me do it. Okay, so that's out of the danger zone. We're going to need to harvest some cloth items now. Let's grab that. Um, I'm probably going to need to do at least one more birch bark to deal with the exhaustion damage that we're getting here. Um, let's throw a few more pieces of coal on here. Okay, so we got uh, enough time to harvest a piece of cloth. Let's harvest this. I hate wasting the warmth buff, but just doing what we gotta do. Alright. Uh, let's do... What was the other item? Toque is in great shape. Let's do the underwear next. Assuming it's... Yeah, that's a reasonable amount of time as well. Okay. Excellent uh, result there. don't have a lot of food. We'll probably... The plan is to employ starvation, but I probably can't starve just yet. Because I need to actually heal up some. 
Let's make some more of this. Um, I guess we'll harvest another cloth item. What do I got? Uh, actually, I might be... I'm almost out. Let's see, this gives 0.5. This gives 0.4. Yeah, this will give a lot more once it's repaired. Let's harvest this one. Another 10-minute harvest. This blizzard is brutal. As soon as it ends, I think I'm going to go enter the camp office to save the game. If we're lucky, we'll find a bedroll in there, and then that'll kind of open up the rest of the game for me, because I'll be able to come out here and sleep. Keep making water, I guess. And at this point, I should probably make bandages. But that doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to. It takes two cloth in an hour. One cloth in 30 minutes? I think we do that next. Yeah, that's a really good item. Keep it in good shape. Another tea. Don't have anything else to harvest, I don't think. Uh, we've got rose hips to prepare. This blizzard is lasting so long. I can't really starve, so... Let's go and eat these. I'll find some more food. We can get some cattails from around here just to tide us over. I am going to employ starvation, but just I can't do it right now because we're taking exhaustion. And I really don't want to waste these uh, teas when I'm not getting the warmth buff. Uh, we've got like 30 minutes to kill. I need to find food. Let's see. Um, I've got the rosehip crafting to do. I mean, I guess. Fifteen minutes. I think we've run out of stuff to do. Could make more tinder, but I'm gonna get cattail heads. Um, let's harvest some of these worst torches, I guess. All the stuff that's under like thirty percent, thirty to thirty-five percent, can be uh, harvested. Start a stash of water here. That flare that's bond there, that might be a guaranteed flare now. So maybe that's the replacement for it. Because um, I think I've seen that a couple of times. Maybe that's uh, to make up for the fact that there are no match spawns that are guaranteed here. All right. What else? Um, and I could go outside on a stick run during a blizzard. That seems basically suicidal. I guess we'll start storing some extra stuff in here. Let's throw all those matches in. A couple of sticks. Uh, let's see here. I really just need this stupid blizzard to end. Maybe I drink up a hot tea and try to go over to the camp office and just see if I get lucky and there's a bedroll there. Then I could actually sleep during this blizzard. Not the worst idea.
drop some of this coal for future use. Keep about six on me, five or six. Down to 10.92 kilograms overall. Um, I think I want to keep these flares on me for right now just because my health is so low. I might need to use them to fend off a wolf or something. Let's put this whetstone away. Yeah, I think I'll use a birch bark tea to get over to the camp office. Pull a couple of torches off of here. Harvest the bad ones for sticks, which right now seems like all of them. I think since I have nothing else to do over here, if I don't find a bedroll in the camp office, I'll probably sleep in there at least until the blizzard is over. I'm actually just going to pump this thing up to nearly max. And we'll just deal with the aftermath of this. Uh, getting this low on fuel this early in the run is really, really bad. Um, so I need like full stacks of fuel to be able to travel far away to get more fuel. But I have really good clothing, so I should be able to walk around tomorrow a lot, or well, today, and just gather a ton of sticks. Maybe that's how we uh, catch up. Alright, let's heat this thing up. And let's harvest some sticks. really annoying not having the bedroll because for this particular challenge I can't really save. <laughs> okay, so that's done. That's done. I'll leave the can there for now. I'll carry this with me. Gotta remember to drink the hot one. Actually, let's just, uh, well, no, I'll take that one with me. Alright. It's not gonna get any better. Let's just go. Stuck behind here and drink the tea. Hopefully I'm sheltered here. It looks like I might not be actually. Not quite in range. No, I was. Okay. Um I guess I'll grab any cattails I see. Uh, I just remembered a problem with this plan. So there's a bug, or at least there was in the last patch, it only shows up very occasionally, where your fire can actually just be out. So basically when you load your game up, sometimes your fire that you had going will just be out for no reason. Um, and so it's not a big deal if you slept where your fire was, or if you saved where your fire was. Um, because then you can just reload the game and it'll fix itself, at least in theory. Um, but like if I slept in the camp office in here, then when I load the game up, if my fire's out and I do anything that saves the game before I get back there and see that, then it'll kind of overwrite that and basically ruin my save. Um, okay, so we're mainly checking for the bedroll. Although something else I can do in here is um, break down wood items to kind of get fuel. Is there a bedroll up here? Doesn't look like there is, unfortunately. 
Yeah, alright. Well, let's just loot it all out. At least do something with this time. That's unfortunate. Um, I mean, I got in such a great luck on this round that I can't really begrudge the game that detail. We'll take a cooking pot back, leave the can here. Yeah, we could break down some of these crates. More trail boots. This will come in handy. Those could be harvested for leather later. I think I'll carry those back with me, actually. Spray paint for marking the location of the hut. It's going to make it a lot easier to travel around. I don't really need that second cooking pot. Forty-five minutes for three wood. I think the crates are fifteen for one. And these require a tool, right? Yeah. I haven't really found any tools, but uh, I'm not worried about that. Okay, there's oh, some food. Never been so hungry in my it's also life. a buff, which is handy. I don't really want to start a fire here, but maybe I'll have to. Let's see, what do I have to eat? Eh, let's go ahead and eat these. I hate burning food when I'm just going to be sitting here harvesting wood. But i got to keep my condition up for right now. All right, let's grab some crates. Um, I mean, I have several hours to spare. At least I'm getting fuel for the fire this way. A rough idea of how much time I'm spending in here. Anything. We can all just step outside briefly um, after I warm up a bit more and grab some sticks. Unnaturally long whetstone and a magnifying lens. Magnifying lens is actually pretty cool. Um, that's it allow me to save on matches in the long run. I am allowed to start other fires. Um, just have to keep that one going. Yeah, the thing is, I, I really... Oh, I can get cloth. Let's get a little more cloth and maybe craft some bandages. I think that's a good use of time. Blizzard has been going for like seven or eight hours now. Not very nice. Uh, okay, let's go outside for just a minute. Other bandage. I don't really need tea ingredients. I need sticks. I'll grab those rose hips anytime. Actually, not very cold here. This is giving burn duration bonus to my fire. Wait, where's the wind coming from? Kind of weird. It's coming from around the other side there. Oh my goodness, this episode is over two hours long. All right, I need to uh, I need to go back. I think pretty soon here. Uh, let's see if I can craft up this bandage. 
in the cold here. Let's go inside and break down the, uh... chair to get warmed up. Oh, two hours for four. No, that's bad. It's a really bad return. Uh, wasn't there a chair up here that was better? Maybe this one? 45 for three. Okay, let's do that. Start taking starvation damage. I'm going to mitigate that for right now, but can't keep this up forever. I just, uh, I'm not going to have enough food. Nearly fully warm. Um, one more little crate or something, or maybe this. And let's go for it. Okay, there's the blizzard. Let's go back to the fire. And I think I'm just gonna do the thing where you change an option to save the game. I got a few calories on me so I can sleep at some point. Let's see, what do I know about bedroll spawns around here? Great, there's a wolf between me and my... We've got wolf redirection tools available. I'm actually fully warm. So I'm going to go back to the fire just to double check the duration. Uh, at the start of the next episode, though, this is going to be prime wandering around to gather fuel time, I think. Oh, no cattails here? I could have sworn there were cattail spawns along here. Alright, we gotta put this stone away, I think. Let's see if there's any wolves around there. Alright, let's see if we can redirect him over there. And then over there. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I got smoke coming out. All right. Um, still got six hours on this thing. We're probably going to throw a few more pieces of coal on here. Let's see. Uh, how am I doing on fuel right now? Yeah, let's do that. throw reclaimed wood. A few sticks. Reclaimed. Reclaimed. Okay, we got it up to 12 hours. That's a good place to end this. So, um... Oh, yeah. I forgot to say. This is Frankie. She's gonna be my friendly fire companion um, throughout this run. And, you know what, let's just go ahead, I don't want to waste time on this, let's go ahead and, uh, how do I do this? Hit escape, go to options, uh, I guess we'll go to accessibility and change this to, uh, yeah, we'll just turn this off, that's a pretty minor thing. Confirm that, and see how it brings up the saving thing? Hopefully, that saved the game. I'm not really confident about that now. I'm pretty sure that saved the game. I don't really know how to check. Um, if for some reason it uses my last save when I walked into the camp office, then I'll just deal with it. Um, we'll just come back out here and make sure the fire's going. I'm going to be really annoyed, though, if I lose my... Um, lose my fire due to a glitch like that. We need to get the bedroll, then we'll just be able to sleep here to save whenever we want. Oh, I could have passed time for an hour or two. Hmm, that's kind of a waste. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this incredibly long episode. 
in the future, they should probably only be um, an hour or a little longer. Although the um, the lengths will be sporadic because, like I said, I have to end each episode here. And in the next episode, I'll show you what I was talking about in the journal with the stats and why I wanted so badly to start this within the first 24 hours. All right. I am very tired. This episode went incredibly well overall. This is a fantastic start. I just got to see if I can pull it out in the next uh, few episodes. Get it. Get a really solid base build here. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone.